When the Trojan nuclear cooling tower came down in 2006, it seemed as if nuclear power, with its high cost and poor safety record, was dead in the Northwest. Today, the remains of unfinished nuclear reactors mar the Washington landscape. The Columbia Generating Facility near Hanford, Washington, stands alone as the single nuclear plant operating in the region. But times have changed. Four years later, Jose Reyes and New Scale Power, a Corvallis, Oregon-based company, are attempting to resurrect the industry. And the idea from the very beginning was to come up with something that was small, that was very economic and extremely safe. Our, our reactor is extremely simple. Uh, we've eliminated the need for uh, extra pumps and valves and, and uh, external power. We've eliminated those components, so the price just keeps dropping. Jose Reyes, who worked for the NRC during the Three Mile Island accident, and says the industry has learned its lessons. We see a huge change in, in the industry uh, because of the, uh, the advancements in technology, computers, <laughs> and the advancements in training, uh, and, and advancement in the safety culture that, uh, that's at the plants now. The Portland lawyer and anti-nuclear activist Greg Cafori is skeptical that new plants like the ones New Scale hopes to build will be safe. You have to understand that this is an industry which learns about accidents by having. We didn't know anything about uh, hydrogen bubbles until Three Mile Island. We didn't know anything about steam explosions until Chernobyl. Uh, and uh, what you're going to have with this technology as well is they're going to learn about their problems uh, as they emerge. Well, in our design, the whole thing sits underground. And it's not only underground, but we have a reactor sitting inside of a reactor, a containment vessel, sitting in a pool of water underground in a building. So we've added additional uh, barriers to assure that even if you had a hundred and one in a hundred million year event, uh, that you still would not release any of the fission products to the environment. We've also reduced the amount of uh, fuel within a single module. So we have about one twentieth the fuel uh, in our single reactor than a large plant. And so that reduces how much fission products are available to begin with. If Reyes can deliver an affordable and safe form of energy, it may be just in time to help our energy intensive society deal with climate change. Earlier this year, President Obama announced more than $8 billion in federal loan guarantees for the construction of the first nuclear power plants in the United States in nearly three decades. We need more production, more efficiency, more incentives. And that means building a new generation of safe, clean nuclear power plants in this country. Nuclear energy, which produces no greenhouse gases, can feed our insatiable appetite for electricity without causing a climate disaster. Nuclear power dwarfs all other low-carbon sources like hydro, wind, and solar. Obama has always been uh, a nuclear supporter. You know, he is all in favor of uh, dumping tens of billions of dollars, which could be spent on the new emerging technologies, which need a little help to get going. And uh, instead, he's ready to dump it down the rat hole of nuclear power. Uh, it's among the worst things he's done. In my sense, you know, Greg's a great guy. Um, I think somehow his thinking still, still seems to be 20 years ago, not a recognition of the contribution that nuclear has made, how well it's performed, what it can um, provide in the future, um, not an acknowledgement of uh, some of the challenges that other energy resources face. I, I, I don't sense that, um, that that perception is in sync with where the general populace is. The argument has been engaged between those who envision a new nuclear era in the Northwest and those who fight to keep Oregon nuclear free. One small uh, pellet size of, uh, of uranium fuel is equivalent to a ton of coal uh, or you know, 50 gallons of oil. And just the energy density associated with that is just so remarkable that we really just can't ignore it. They'll never build another nuclear power plant in Oregon. People would march on the site with, with pitchforks and, and uh, uh, torches. It's just not going to happen.